Hello friends, welcome back. So in this lecture, we will see how can we do nesting in style component. So first, let's make the screen side by side. And let me make this screen a little bigger, okay? Now we need to create uh, one component in common folder. So, so let's uh, go to common folder and right click and click on new file and here we need to create a component with the name header.js okay let's close this now as this is a functional component so i will type rafce and press tab so this is the shortcut i am using an extension called uh, ES es7 react redux okay so this is the extension which i'm using so if you want you can install this so you can use the shortcuts okay so if i go down here you can see there are a lot of shortcut to create component so rcc is for class based component okay so there are a lot of shortcuts so you can just go through it okay now let me save this file and let me make this little smaller okay now in this header component i will take one h1 tag which will say hello header and then i'll take h2 tag which will say another title okay and inside this h2 tag i will take a class name which is equal to title okay let's save this and now we need to export this header component not as a default but as a but in a curly braces okay let's save this and now we need to go to index.js sorry not index.js here inside the component we need to go to index.js and here let me close this here we need to write export all from dot slash header let me save this and let's close this now we need to go to app.js and here we need to import the header component so header header okay and here we need to access here we need to render it so header let's save this and we don't require this button so as you can see we got this uh, title hello header and another title so we don't need this button uh, buttons and the h1 tag so let's remove this only we need the header and here also we need to remove this buttons okay so let's save this now we only have the header now let's go to let's close this button.js let's close this index.css and let's go to header component and here we need to import style from style component okay and here we need to create a const with the name header wrapper which is equal to style dot section and we need to add back tick key and inside this we can write our css property okay so this is the html tag section so the css property which i'll give is background which will be blue and this header wrapper i'll copy this and in, uh, instead of div i will uh, replace it with header wrapper okay so now let's save this file so as you can see we got a blue background okay so now we will see how we can do nesting let's say we want to add some style for this h1 tag maybe we can change the text color from black to white okay and even we need to change this another title color to be yellow okay so how do we do that so here we will write h1 and then curly braces open close and here i'll give color which is equal to white and if i save this you can see this color changes to white this text color changes to white now how do i access this title so here inside this i'll write title and curly braces open close and color i will give yellow 
let me save this as you can see this color has changed to yellow now what if uh, i want to change this blue color to black on hover okay so for that i will write ampersand colon hover and here i will give background as black and here i'll give transition so transition which will be for all properties two seconds and effect will be ease in out okay let's save this and now if i hover on this let me refresh this so the transition okay here i have to give a semicolon let's save this file now if i hover on this let me refresh it so as you can see now this color has changed to black let me make it one second okay so now if i hover on it you can see the color has changed and here let's add cursor pointer let's save this and if i hover on this you can see cursor pointer has been activated and the color is changing to black so this is how you can do nesting in style component so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video please subscribe to my channel and please if you like the video please like share and comment and i'll see you in the next video